Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren and this channel is all about remote work, location independence and helping you travel the world as much as you want, whenever you want. Don't know where that voice came from but we are just gonna roll with it. Anyway, in today's video I am giving you a complete Asana tutorial. I am gonna show you how you can use Asana which is my absolutely favorite project management tool to basically organize everything within your business so that you can be a successful location independence entrepreneur. It has honestly just completely changed how I manage things in my business as well as my time. It's made me infinitely more productive, which is just wild. And I'm super excited to show you guys how you can do this for your own businesses, for your own freelancing careers, whatever it is you are trying to achieve and really just take yourself to the next level by being more productive and being more organized. So if that sounds like something you wanna know more about, let's get into the video. So since making the switch, my productivity has just gone through the roof. I can see at a glance if I am hitting my KPIs for that quarter, if I'm hitting my monthly goals, you know, where I'm slacking, what's working, what isn't, all that fun stuff. It's just there. I don't have to like think about it. I can just go look and see where I am at with my business and it just makes things so much easier guys, so much easier. So if you are currently going through these same struggles, I'm gonna show you exactly what I did in Asana to fix all my productivity and organization woes. So step number one, go to Asana and click on the try for free button and sign up with your professional email address. So you want an email address with your custom domain and this is why I harp on so much about having a professional website and about having a domain and all that stuff because it does make your life so much easier and it makes you so much more professional and if you want to learn more about what you need in your freelancing business make sure you watch this video over here but anyway back to Asana so you want this custom domain because if you have that you can use the teams function on Asana and the teams function on Asana is what is going to change your life no jokes it really is it honestly is okay you're going to get an email from Asana and they're going to ask you to verify your email address. Okay, so once you've clicked on that button, it's then going to ask you to set up your profile. So you just have to enter your full name and then click on the continue button. And then after that, it's going to ask you to create your first team. So click on that button and then you're going to select the type of team that you want to create. For this one, we're just going to go to the general project management option and then you can give your team a name. For this, I'm just going to call it CEO tasks. And then once you're done with that, you're going to click on the create team button. So you can even add some team members emails. Otherwise you just click continue and then congratulations, you have set up your first team on Asana and then you can start creating tasks and projects or even create more teams depending on how you wanna plan out your business. Okay, so for this next bit, we are gonna create our second team. So click on the add new team section and then we're gonna call this marketing. And when you're done with that, click on the create team button. So now we're going to click on the new project square that you can see and then you can choose from a range of templates for your project. If you don't like any of the templates you can just create your own one by clicking on the blank project option at the top. Now give your project a name. For this example we are going to be creating our Instagram content calendar. Once you've written your name for your project you can then choose your default view from list board or calendar and you can always change this at a later stage and then you can also select your privacy either to private to only you or public to the rest of your team that's working on this marketing project with you and when you're done with that just click on the blue create project button okay so this is what a project looks like in asana and once you've created it you can now start creating your tasks so for this example, for the Instagram content calendar, my first column is going to be all about ideas that I have for my captions that I'm going to be writing over the next month because I like to bulk create all my captions and content at one go. Then my second column is going to be called Monday. My third column is going to be called Wednesday. And then my fourth column is going to be Thursday because those are the three days that I post on Instagram. So this might look a bit different for you depending on how often you post. So typically on a Monday, 
I have an Instagram post which is promoting my latest YouTube video. Then on Wednesdays, I will either talk about something related to travel or I will give a remote work or location independence or working from home tip. And then on Thursdays, I will be promoting my blog post for that week. And my blog posts rotate between a travel guide or a topic related to location independence. Okay, guys, and there we go. We have set up our first project on Asana. Okay, guys, so now I'm just going to give you a quick example of how I would use Asana to plan out my Instagram content for the week. So on Monday, we have my YouTube video going up about Asana. On Wednesday, I have an Instagram post about the best destinations for digital nomads. And then on Thursday, I have a post going out about how to start freelancing as that is my blog post for the week. Once I've created that, I'm then going to assign dates to each task which you can do by just clicking on the little calendar icon. And then we are going to head over to content schedule overview. So this is where I like to have a broad overview of all the content that is going out over the next couple of weeks. So first things first, I am just going to quickly change the view to board. And then our first column is going to be Monday. And on Mondays, we have YouTube content going out. Then on Wednesdays, we have just an Instagram post going out and then on Thursdays we have the new blog post going out and that is our content schedule overview done. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to head back to the Instagram content calendar and click on the how to use Asana tutorial and then I'm going to assign this task to my other project which is my content schedule overview. And you do that by just clicking on the little plus sign and then you can select which project to assign it to. We're going to do that for all three tasks. So add to another project, select content schedule overview. And then if you click on the drop down list, you can select which column you want it to go under. And once you are done with that, we can head on to the YouTube content calendar. So on the first column, I make this my idea board. So I bring them any ideas that I have there. On the second column, I have scheduled, which just means I've selected my four ideas for the month and have scheduled them onto the YouTube calendar. Then my third column is filmed and edited. And then my final column is completed. So the video we have scheduled for July is how to use Asana tutorial. We're going to click on that task and then we are going to start adding some subtasks, which you can do by clicking on that little icon at the top. So these are the main tasks that I have for every single video. I have script video, film, edit, create thumbnail, schedule, add to blog, and promote on social media. So also what you want to do is you want to just highlight all these tasks that you've just created and then just do control copy. And then we're just going to create another task quickly. So maybe our next video is how to film YouTube videos. Once you've created that task, you click on the subtasks button and then you just go control paste and then all your subtasks are there. And then you can quickly assign your due date and then add to any other projects if you want to. And once you have filmed a video, you can move it to the next column and then tick off the tasks as you go along. So you can kind of get a very visual idea where you are with each task. So going back to the content schedule overview, you can now see how beautiful this looks. We, I can see exactly what YouTube videos, blog posts and Instagram posts are going out every single day. Okay, so now we are going to move on to the CEO task section. So the first thing we're going to look at is your KPI tracker. So I've just created one for quarter three because that is currently the quarter that we are in. And this is how I plan out my tasks over the next three months. So the first section is going to be Instagram because I want to track my Instagram growth over the next three months and I have a goal that I want to reach. Then my second section is going to be my income goal for the next three months. And my third is going to be my blog post goal for the next three months and so on and so forth. So once I've created those sections for each one of the big projects or goals that I want to work on, I'll then go back and then add in the goal that I want to achieve. And then what I'll do is that every single week I will come in and then fill in where I am with that goal. So for example, my Instagram goal is to hit 12K in the next three months. So let's say in week one of quarter three, my Instagram followers is on 11,500. On week two, I hit 11,645. And then on week three, I went down a bit and I hit 11,400. So that gives me a very good idea 
of how I'm doing and how I'm tracking to meet that goal and if I need to make any adjustments in my Instagram strategy. So now we're moving on to monthly goals. So after I've created those KPI goals, I will then draw out my monthly goals from that list. So these are an example of what my July goals could look like. It would be to write four blog posts and then I just kind of do a little tracker of where I am with that goal. Some other goals I have are to post four YouTube videos a month and then I want to make sure that I'm updating my blog posts on a regular basis so that the content is always accurate and fresh. Um, and then I have a goal to land one new client and, and then also post 12 Instagram posts to make sure that I'm being consistent with that. And once I've got my monthly goals sorted out, I'm then gonna move on to my daily I get to list. So the first section that I have is, this is what I am manifesting. And then I would usually write the top three things that I am trying to manifest that week. For example, I might be trying to manifest $1,000 and one new client. Then I will move on to my weekly priorities. So these are the main tasks or KPIs that I want to achieve this week. And after I've written out my weekly priorities, I will then create sections for every single day of the week. So Monday to Sunday. And then I will go in and add any reoccurring tasks for that week. So for example, I do Pinterest every single day. So I'm just going to add that task in from Monday to Friday. Then I'm going to go back to my blog content calendar and add that blog post onto my daily task list under Thursday because that's when it is due. And that is our Asana tutorial. So if you want to learn more about how I plan my entire business's month out with Asana, as well as the other productivity hacks that I mentioned in this video over here, make sure that you turn on those bell notifications and subscribe. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you found it useful. And if you have any questions, as usual, please comment them down below and I will do my absolute best to answer them. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.